Hey everyone, Elite Trainer CJ here, and as you can see, I'm just getting ready for Halloween. Uh, we are going to be pushing out this Halloween challenge series as quickly as possible, hopefully doing a video a day. So that way we can, uh, yeah, get this out and done by Halloween. I should have started this a while ago, but yes, let's go ahead and try to push this out as much as we can. Make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell, and make sure to put a happy face on. I'm Elite Trainer CJ, and let's get going with this video. <laughs> Hey everyone, Elite Trainer CJ here, and last time in this video we went ahead and chose Sira as our starter because it turns into Shift Tree, which is a Grass and Dark type. And yes, uh, it's got Bide, Harden, and Growth, and it will learn Bullet Seed here pretty soon. And then also uh, Puchiana, and it knows Tackle. So yes, those are our two Dark types right now. Let's go ahead and uh, let's continue. I will be trying to have people. Uh, I am gonna try to have people join as uh, guests, and then I will link them in the description, like I did with Paul Poker Master. But uh, yes, if you guys are interested, let me know in my Discord. Uh, it's up on the screen, or you can also look in the description down below. Let's use Bide. Hopefully it does something. A critical hit. And we're storing energy, okay. Come on, just just unleash some energy. There we go. There we go, one hit. Alright, see that's gonna be level eight now. Sweet, we needed that. back and uh, I went ahead and bought a couple of potions and also a pokeball I do need some potions until we reach to the next area but yeah uh, it will be helpful instead of running back and forth to the Pokemon Center especially for C dot it will be very helpful once we get the ESP share by the way but yes uh, C dot uh, just do bide because I do believe I only has poison stain and tackle, so I won't do much. Oh, and string shot. I don't even know if it knows poison stain. Just it depends. Okay, string shot. Okay, figured it had that. Unleash the energy. Hopefully, we can. Oh, nope. You know what? I'm gonna have Paul go out there. And I'm just gonna tackle him. Paul just tackle. Alright, there we go. And it's a critical hit. Oh. You know what, we're gonna keep Paul out so that way Paul can get some experience. Yeah, it's gonna do a, it's gonna hit a lot more than uh than C dot did. So Yes. Stop using string shot, this is annoying. <laughs> oh, Two more tackles and it should do it. It's, yes, it's taking a while. Yep, one more tackle. And there we go, Wormple's down. And Paul should be level four now. There we go. It's almost level five too, so. You know what, we might have to switch Poochiana in just because. Just because. See that? I don't know. You see that? 
Oh, we got a trainer battle. Let's do this. Alright, Zitazoon, it won't do much damage. Alright, Paul, get out there. I'll use Growl. Okay, I see how it is. Yeah, so I'm gonna switch to C dot. Because Tacker did nothing. Hopefully, we can actually do something. So, I love that Zizidun is now a Galarian form. It looks so much better than the original. <laughs> That's my opinion. Especially Obstadun. It looks pretty cool. It looks like it belongs in the band, Kiss. <laughs> Uh, making my making my attack fall. Come on. Oh, so close. We're gonna have to heal real quick. And then bide. This is this challenge is hard just because Bide is oh my gosh and a crit really like Bide just takes so long to just get out there there we go that's better Paul's now level five sweet and learned how okay. Oh no. I think it just has tackle. No, it has patch. Okay, that is not good. Oh, okay, it used growl. I see how it is. At least it's only a level three. Woo! Okay, one HP. You know what? Paul, go in and finish it off. At least, the, at least this isn't a Nuzlocke. It is a challenge, though. There we go. Tail is down. Alright, let's go ahead and let's go heal real quick. Alright, we are back. Let's go ahead and battle this trainer right here. Alright. Zizijun. Great. Let's do how though. Oh wait, what is it? Raise our attack? Yep, raise our attack. Alright, come on. Couple more and we'll be good. There we go, did a decent amount. There we go, critical. That's how you do it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, so close to level six. Shroomish? Nah, we're gonna we're gonna go like this. Okay. Oh, a crit? Okay. You know, we're gonna go ahead and get C dot. Just because Azorb won't do much to C dot. Alright, Azorb. Yeah, it does 1 HP. Okay. Oh no. Is a Zorb gonna cancel it out cancel it out? No. Okay. We actually used it. Okay, good. And it didn't do anything, okay. You know, we're gonna heal Paul real quick. 
I'm bringing him in because at least Tatra can do something better than Bide. There we go, finally down with the crit. Oh, and of course, a fat spore. Great, but we are level six. See, that's not a level nine. Great. All right, we're gonna heal. All right, we're heading on into Norman's gym, otherwise known as our dad's gym. We're gonna talk to him, and then help out Wally, and continue, so probably gonna skip this, just because it's not really too important to the challenge. All right, so we just helped him out. Helped him catch a Pokemon. All right, bye, Ash. Okay. Yep, we're gonna go and challenge trainers. Let's do, oh, ch challenge gym leaders. So we are going this way, then we're gonna be running into this dude, and he'd be like, excuse me. Yep, are you a Pokemon trainer? Okay. He just looks like an ordinary kid, okay. Yep, see you dude. Alright, so we are here for the Team Aqua uh, match. Because it's first big match, I guess. Alright, let's do this. Let's battle. They have a Poochiena. Level 9 Poochiena. Great. We have a level 7 Poochiena. We're gonna howl. Oh man. Okay. Oh man. Yep, it was a crit. Okay. Nice try, Poochiana. Hopefully, Bai can do something. We have a level 9 C that, so hopefully, it'll do something, please. Of course. Santa Tad made a fail. Great. Thanks a lot. Oh. And it keeps using how. Great. This is gonna be great. It's just so great. Yeah, a crit that did 21 damage. Please just do enough. Yes! Oh, thank you. Oh, and it wasn't even enough. Okay, thanks. So, yeah, we did that. Now we will see you guys at the gym, I guess. I might do a little bit of grinding beforehand. Well, you know what? Got a great ball. Okay. All right, here we go. We are gonna get TMO9, which is Bullet Seed, and we are gonna give it to C Dot because it is a very much needed move. So let's go ahead and do that real quick, just because Bide doesn't do anything. So this is Stab. So this is gonna be great. Uh, let's give it to C Dot. All right. And yes, we are gonna do the next bat. We're gonna do some more battles, and then see you guys in the town. Next town. All right. All right. Level fourteen, and C dot is finally evolving. All right. Let's see what it turns into. It's a Nuzleaf. <laughs> yeah, I already know it's a Nuzleaf. Alright, so we got a Nuzleaf. So we now have a Nuzleaf, which is now dark and grass type. So, yes! There we go. Oh, we got. Okay, let's go ahead and face Roxanne. Alright, here's our challenge against Roxanne. 
Alright, Geodude, okay. Why do I have Fallout then? You know what? Nuzlocke's gonna be our MVP. You ready? Rock Tomb? Okay, that won't do much. Speed did go down, though. But Bullet Seed's gonna take care of it. See, two hits. Two hits. <laughs> There we go. Hit two times. We should be level 16. Nice. Hit level 16. Nice. Uh, another Geo did. No, we're going to stay in. Because Nuzlave's going to be our champion for this. <laughs> for this gym. Yep, two hits. There we go. Now this is going to be the harder part, going up against Nose Pass. So, you know what? I want to go ahead and see what Nature Power does. And it uses Swift. Okay. And it's not very effective. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to see what Bullet Seed does. It's taking out a good chunk. Please get a crit somewhere in there. I don't want to leave it in yellow. Oh. Oh, you're... Oh, look at there. First try. And now it's level 17. There we go. And we beat Roxanne. Actually, a very easy first gym. Even with the nose pass. So we got our first stone. We got the stone badge, and we also learn. And we also have rock tomb. I wonder if either one can learn it, because it will be a good coverage move. TM thirty nine, which is rock tomb, and also slows down their speed. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and see can I, any of our Pokemon learn this move. Uh, Nuzleaf is able to. Okay. Let's give Nuzleaf Rod Tomb for the flying type coverage. There we go. And the fire type coverage. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's get rid of Bide. Bide is just... No. I'm done with Bide. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What's up, Devin? Oh, it's you. You're the fantastic trainer who helped me put up the words. Yep, we're gonna go. Yep, we're gonna go get your Devin good. Is your Pico in there? Yes, it is. I'm going to go get your Pico. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and face off against this Team Rocket Grunt. Hopefully, it's not too hard. It shouldn't be too hard since we're above Dark Types now. And uh, Nuzleaf has Rock Tomb for the Flying Type. And also has Bullet Seed. So, you know what? Against the Poochiana? Oh, we got this. I know Bite won't do much to it at all. But... It might. Yep, it flinched it. That's what we want. <laughs> Not very effective. And it flinched again. Gotta love it when bite flinches. Alright, one more bite would do it. We gotta give Paul some love, so. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Alright, we beat the team after we want. We're going to go heal, and then, yeah, probably finish this episode once we get to Slate Port. Because <laughs> we do have to deliver the uh, letter to... Yeah, we got to go give it to them, and then we can get our ESP share, which would be great. <laughs> but first, we got to go and talk to Mr. Stone. So, yeah. I'll see you guys when we go to Slateport. So that way we can end the episode. <laughs> oh, but first, here we go. We're gonna get an Encada. So that so that way we can get a uh So that way we can get a Sheninja, which is a ghost type. So this is our third Pokemon of this challenge.
We need a Pokeball. There we go. One, two, three. We do have this match against May. Let's do this match against May. And we do register first, but. Yes, let's battle. All right, Wingo. Okay, that's fine. Go, Paul Joe. Wing attack. Okay. Do you think we don't have? Uh, yeah. Do you think we don't have Nestle Finn? We had a heal. Is gonna use Wing attack again? Oh, water again this time. Okay. Another water gun, okay. There we go, wing girl's down. Oh, so close. No. We are gonna heal first. Alright, let's see, absorb. That won't do much. So did a decent amount though, so we're gonna switch to Nuzleaf. All right, you know what? Let's use nature power. Let's see what it does. Swift. Okay, I forget. This area is swift. It depends on the area. But nature power is, you know, it would be interesting to use. All right, one more hit. There we go. Goodbye, Trico. And Paul's now level 14. Sweet. And we got 900 butts. Thank you. Alright. Yes, I know about Mr. Briny. Alright, let's go. Okay, I forgot that we gotta do for it first. But this is where we're supposed to go. Uh, the next gym that we will be facing is against Brawly. This is gonna be a fun challenge because we have all dark types and he's a... He's a a fighting type uh, gym leader so yeah th that's gonna be a lot of fun but anyways uh, yes this is where we're gonna stop for right now uh, let's go ahead and let's get this out of the way we got an old rod maybe we can get lucky and get a Carvana and a Crawdunt because that would be a nice two additions to our team but we will use probably just one of them just because they're both water and dark type but anyways Thank you for watching, you guys. Make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and the notification bell so that you won't miss another video. I'm Elite Trainer CJ, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, which is probably going to be the next day because we need to get this out. Alright, see you guys.